we decided to feature a one-year recap of our incredible transformation of our waterfront home. March 23rd will mark exactly one year that we got the keys to literally open the door to a dream of ours of living on the water. This home is a secondary home for us to enjoy with our family and friends. It includes a beautiful view of the water, wildlife, nature, some of the most incredible sunsets and sunrises. So in this video today, our one year renovation project has been compacted and sped up into just a few minutes. Start on the walls. This is probably some of the better walls in the whole place that weren't affected. Most of the walls were torn out. You can look up if you can, you can see the, there's no ceiling in the entire condo. All the sheetrock, the water, the, the reason that what happened was the sprinkler up on the third floor, the, there was this main line up in the attic. The, something broke from the wind or, and I think a piece of sheetrock actually fell on the sprinkler line, busted that sprinkler line. All the water ran down through the third floor, got several condos on the second floor, lots of water damage. So they just had to come in and definitely tear out all the ceilings and the subfloor. So we're just going back with that. If we can get the sheetrock in, then we'll keep moving on from there. The day we got the keys and purchased the condo, we went over and this was like putting together a puzzle. Lots of the fixtures and the appliances were still usable, but were just set around in different rooms. So we devised a plan, set a budget, and we got to work. So we're going to sit back now and we're going to recap the highlights of this one year renovation. Hey guys. I guess you can see, I, this is actually, I'm in the shower <laughs> and the pantry. <laughs> So as you can see, we purchased this waterfront condo with water damage and it had been pretty much gutted in some of the areas. We got it at a good deal, but now we've got to go in, stay on budget, and we've got to put it all back together and get it renovated. more subfloor. I, I guess my point here, I wasn't expecting to be able to see sheetrock of the condo below me. So I got to be careful where I walk, get this piece back in where the subfloor is going to, you know, catch one of these two befores everywhere so I don't have anything that will wiggle or squeak. And then I'll come back in with my upper, the top subfloor and tie everything together like I had it. That's the plan for now, but a little disappointing, but I can make it work. Okay guys, we're back down at the condo. We're out on the balcony. Y'all have seen from the video what the inside of the condo looks like. I haven't shown her the bathrooms yet. It was kind of a good news, bad news kind of deal. There's a, let's just say the plumbers did a little more than I was expecting. I know it's going to be more than she was expecting. I just say it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> so, he say scare me now. Yeah. So let, let's take her in and show her new showers yeah and, I can't wait and whatever else is there
we're just trying to stay on our budget. But our original plan was we were going to spend, X, we paid X dollars for the condo. We're going, we're going to try to stay within fifty thousand dollars. That's our budget. Was fifty thousand for the redo? Good so far. I'm, I'm actually, I said fifty thousand was our, our guesstimated budget, but. I'm hoping with me and her doing a lot of the work, we can blow that out of the water. I'm, I'm you know, 30,000 would be great. All right, let's see how much we spent. How much was the damage for the trim? What was the damage? $904.78. All right, we got some trim. Now let's go home and put it up. Let's get it to the second floor. <laughs> oh yeah, now we get to carry it up to the second floor. How many pieces we got? 50. 50 something pieces. 60, I don't know. Oh wow, this is gonna be fun.
Yay! All right, we got more trim. <laughs> it's never ending. We're always at the supply store, seems like. Right, didn't the wise man once say it's just money? Yeah, Monopoly money. $350.20. We started out our renovation on a set budget, which included a lot of man hours on our part, a lot of DIY projects, hunting down thrifted accessories and decor, and just trying to be patient to complete this project to stay on our budget.
if you followed along with us along this journey and you watched the original videos, comment below if you remember how many kitchen sinks we had to try before we found the one that fit the best.
As we are still putting the final details and touches on some areas, our master bathroom is still in progress. We still need to get a bathtub for this area. The shower has been installed, but it still needs some touch-ups and some paint around it. And then here will be our bathroom vanities. So y'all make sure to stay tuned because there will be videos to come as we finish these areas. We're happy to say that we are now able to enjoy our new home, but we're still putting the final touches on some of the areas. A lot of the fun is the treasure hunt for just the right piece and hopefully get it at a bargain price. The details are the most fun a lot of times and sometimes have the most impact. This video merely highlights the projects we tackled throughout this journey and doesn't even reveal the countless trips to the hardware stores the measuring, the planning, and making our dream become a reality. We've already shared so many great memories here. We have enjoyed family time at the pool, we've entertained friends, and we hosted our daughter a baby shower, and we had a family stay over around Christmas time. Like I told y'all throughout the video, we still have some things to do to the condo, but there will be some upcoming videos as we make those improvements and add those details. If you'd like to go out and watch the original videos in full length, I will include a playlist down below in the description box. So if you want to see a lot more of what went on with this reno, make sure to check out the playlist. And if you ever doubt a decision in your life, and if you sometimes just wait, God will send you a sign. This mat was left out on our balcony. I was cleaning and sweeping our balcony one day. I looked down and I saw this mat. Y'all, our last name is Green. So this was left from a previous owner when we purchased the condo. It was just thrown out on the balcony. So that right there was our sign. We felt like we made the right decision. We got the home of our dreams. And hopefully, God willing, we will enjoy it years to come with our family and friends. 